Hello, this is Blue Star, Defender of Equestria, and this is my next blind reaction video. My Little Pony, make your mark, Cutie Blossom Bash. Roar! I have a funny feeling I know what this episode might be about, and I'm just so proud of you, Misty. Because in the last episode, Misty got her cutie mark. Roar! It was a bit of a struggle between deciding between Opaline and the main five, but in the end, Misty chooses the main five, so... But the bad news is, is that Opaline is no longer compromised. Because she's all powered up now and we're all doomed! <laughs> so the last chapter actually had a lot of good character stuff going on, and uh, it'll be interesting to see what happens with this chapter. Particularly because now that Misty has an actual cutie mark, it's only going to be a matter of time until uh, Opaline notices, so... Oh. So I have a feeling that this might be kind of reminiscent of uh, something that happened in Frenchman's Magic, where basically you throw a big party for a pony that's just got their cutie mark, and I have a feeling that's what's going to happen here, so... Roar. I'm so proud of you, Misty. <laughs> but anyway, let's get on with it. So, the next episode of My Little Pony Make Your Mark is upon us in... Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Ooh, the bear's stream. Oh, hold on tight, everybody. Oh my gosh. A little shaky. Still finding my balance. The mirror yes. should take some getting used to. Yes, At it least does. we're taking you on a prize adventure. Ooh. Are you excited? Ooh. Say yes. Yeah, I'm totally, I'm totally so not nervous. I'm, what is it? We're going <laughs> to the Heights for the annual Equestria Cutie Blossom Bash. Oh, okay. Bash? What's that? What is that? It's a cutest springtime celebration of all that is fresh and new. Oh. Flowers, blossoms, bunnies, fashion. You will see, Misty, the looks. But more importantly, <laughs> it's an official celebration for all of the ponies that have gotten their new cutie mark. Aww. Of hey. It's kind of cool how we're finally combining the tradition we've all grown up with. Ooh, hey. I love the Blossom Bash. Oh, springy. See, I've already crafted seven flowers per side. I only need to make a few hundred more. A few hundred? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. For all the ponies who are going to cheer you on. Yay. Yeah. Uh oh. Okay. It'll be okay. It's too much. It's too much. All those other ponies, right? I'll just keep my head down and blend in. It'll be so silly. Yeah. Turn! Turn! Oh evade! Dive! Uh, uh, I just jinxed the whole smooth sailing thing, didn't I? Aww. <laughs> Poor Misty. You gotta let it glow! You gotta let it shine! Wah. Let's make our mark together Just riding on forever Getting better, better, better hey. Every pony everywhere Find your spark and just glow no, 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 no. I still like this opening. I was kind of hoping Misty was going to be here as well, but oh well. Oh my gosh. Hold on. It's going to be okay. Aww. Mm, I don't think Hitch is so sure. Yeah, oh. ever since his run in with Opaline, he's been so tired. I could imagine. Drag him all the way to Zephyr Heights, but I miss him. Oh, well, he's resting with Grandma Figgy. Oh, oh, it's adorable. You're right, Grandma is the best at making any pony feel better. See, oh, good. Sparky's in great hug. Yeah, get your mind off things. Mm. I know. Let's go around and share our cutie mark stories with Misty. <gasps> I'll go first. Oh, grandma's a little silly. I didn't have many friends, but Aww. my dad always said, <gasps> "Life gives you lemons, make lemonade." <laughs> To raise money for the library, so Aww. I did. I sold almost every cup right away. Oh, but good. The ponies wanted the last one. Uh -oh. They started arguing, and I stepped in to help. <laughs> they were fighting for no reason. Aww. That's when my cutie mark appeared. My dad oh. told me because I helped those ponies put aside their differences. Aww. He was so proud. That Aww. spring, I got to drop the stage <laughs> in our cutie blossom bash. Oh, <laughs> my favorite memories. Oh, it was so nice seeing mm. Argyle too. Now I want I lemonade. My me next, me next. Well, technically ours. Oh, well, right. Oh, they're adorable. No, don't do it, Zip. Ooh, nice. Aw, that was great. Aw. Hooray! <laughs> hey, that's cute. I'm using yes. Aw. Oh, this is so nice. Aw, <laughs> oh, they're adorable. <laughs> I promise. Oh. <laughs> Kinda stole the spotlight it's there. It's not my fault. <laughs> you were the one who was so inspiring. You look yes. like you're about to burst, buddy. I want to tell. I want to tell. I want to tell. 
Yes, I do. Ball on the beach with some Colts when this Philly asked to join us. Wouldn't let her play. They just kept shouting, "No Phillies allowed!" Aww. So ditched the meanies and played with her. Oh. I got my mark. Oh, interesting. Hmm. Interestingly, they didn't. Back in Bridalwood, during the days of yore, I made the moonstone moon. Uh oh. That sounds like a long time ago. Aww. Yes, flashback. Just kept mm. growing and growing. But I didn't see it as junk. I saw it as stuff that just needed some love. Oh. I made everything into a big teapot statue. Oh, that's and nice. Told me maybe they judge the junk a little too mm. harshly. Hey, Good babe, one. I'm just a unicorn that loves recycling. Huh? Cycling. <laughs> Unicycling. <sighs> and then got my mark. Yay. <laughs> Great stories, but they all ended with a big event where you had to stand in front of a lot of ponies? Yep. Poor Misty. Now it's your turn to do that. <laughs> and it's going to be the biggest, most grand one yet! Oh, Look. good. <sighs> uh oh. There's so many ponies. Aww. Be brave, Misty. Don't want to ruin anything for them. I can do this. Aren't you oh, thrilled? Um, sort of. <laughs> I'm just totally nervous. <laughs> Angels, you've arrived. I was so worried. I nearly had to send Cloud Puff to track you down again. Really? I'm thrilled to have you Wait here, again. I'd be lying and say I'm a teensy bit stressed. Why? Are pearl crystals again? Oh, stars, no. It's just spring showers. If it rains, then everything will be ruined. Oh, I no. Can certainly help with that. We're problem solving pros. Really? Hmm? You do that? Of course. We promise to make sure this event and everything is as right as rain. Uh, oh, not, not as rain. rain. Oh, dear. <laughs> Follow me. Hmm. Well, they intend to do that. So. springtime floral arrangements, Aww. as well as baby duck nursery. <laughs> the bites appetizers. Clever, Ooh. huh? I put that one um. I loved it. What do you think, girl? Nice. I am devoted to making this the best cutie blossom ever. ever. Oh. Especially for your darling Misty. Aww. Dogs, prepare for Misty's cutie mark debut. One fun pack pony filled social event. Oh, she's excited. <laughs> Yay! Oh, oh my gosh. Ah. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Her hair's on fire. <laughs> ah. <laughs> we could go a little brighter. You're so right, Mom. Hey, mm -hmm. oh. is something bothering you? Uh, I'm just worried about what's going on back home. I mean, back at Opaline's. Oh, Ow. we stand. Luckily, we have more cutie blossom activity. Okay, so I was lying a little about what's bothering me. But it's Aww. sort of true. Opaline has gone and is already plotting her evil revenge against me. Yeah. Gone! Gone! No, oh, no. no. How is this possible? Timot Price must be paid. Oh, no. I can't believe she's missing. Hmm? Gertrude, where are you, Gertrude? Gertrude? Favorite me. She's so <laughs> to me. I must find her. <laughs> oh, Missy's missing. Oh, who cares? <laughs> Let's try, shall we? Aww. I wrote cutie blossom bash like it was yesterday. No. Pick them up and squeeze them. Uh, 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 uh. They were so cute. Yes, you they were. Are. <laughs> that most ponies get their cutie marks when they're young yeah. because that's when the magic of their personality and their luminescence. Yeah, yeah, that too. Because of Opaline, I never got to shine until now. Aww. That means not only will I be in front of every pony. I'll be the oldest one there. I'm gonna be the oldest pony here. Oh. Alrighty, Zip. Perimeter checked right. and safe from rain. That's great, Sheriff, but oh. the fact that the Blossom Bashers will have to trot outside to get from the palace <laughs> of the stage potentially ruin our victory to the puddles and down. No, the, the horror. Oh, we need rain boots and umbrellas and fast. <laughs> yes, sir. Misty, we didn't even know it was possible your age could get oh. a cutie mark. Oh. It's so cool. How good. Would you like to join us? Ari and Peach Fizz are here to celebrate my new cutie mark. Wow. Oh. It's awesome, Seashell. Time. Time? It is For time what? already. Worry, you can stick with me. Aw, how sweet. Welcome to the Cutie Blossom Bash Eve Dinner Soiree. Oh, okay. You got this. It's like, it's just a party. It'll be okay. I am so honored to have you all here for our first Cutie Blossom Bash together. From Yay. Pegasi to unicorns to earth ponies, every one of you has reached an important milestone to become your best, most authentic self. It's Yay. time to go out and make your mark on Equestria. First, please enjoy this incredibly fancy <laughs> springtime feat. Okay, yay! That's the wrong fork. 
Oh, <laughs> you know what the flight fork is? Oh, okay. Arr, arr. Oh, no. Incoming! Oh, dear. Sorry about that. I am so sorry. It's okay, it's okay. It happens. It's time to introduce yourselves and tell oh. us about your cutie mark. Why don't you stop? What, me? Uh, oh. Me. Yeah. Oh, poor first. Misty. Uh, so, let's uh, see. My uh. name is Misty, Bright Dawn, and uh, oh. my cutie mark is a uh, butterfly. <laughs> uh, 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 I actually don't really know that much else I was about it, actually. <laughs> I see. I'm sorry. Oh dear, you also have to tell every pony why you think it's a butterfly. Oh, okay. Um, uh, because, uh, well. Uh, oh, no, look, I dropped my fork. Uh, I dropped my fork. Oh, excuse me. So Aww. I have no public speaking skills. My only friend before this was a pile of junk, Madam Taffy Tail. Hopefully Aww. it was right. Not cut out for this world. My Aww. name is Seashell, and Mark is a shell. Because okay. A pony who's as unique as every shell on the beach. Oh, oh good one. Nice. Oh, poor Missy. Uh oh. These five little birds thwart me in all my brilliant plans. Yeah. And now I can't even find my main brush. Well, something else is missing. <laughs> Miss T. Yes, that sad excuse for a pony. Ouch! How's out of feet, no doubt. Yeah, I'm sure right she there. is. Hours, days, that's what. They also don't care. <laughs> Miss T feels all the time. She'll be back down begging me to give her a cutie mark, like always. So silly that girl. To believe I'd ever actually do that. Oh. <laughs> oh. Are we under attack? <laughs> Are we under attack? It's your Aww. Oh, that's not even adorable. Oh, poor Misty. Oh. What was that? Uh oh. <laughs> nice. <laughs> what we mean is we've got this festival of undercover. Good one. Bigger deputies on duty so no pony slips and trotty talkies. Because, well, because trotty talkies are cool. So now we wait. It'll be here any minute. Take charge. When it rains, you know what to do. Okay. <laughs> well, at least I look pretty. Yes, you do. Pretty terrified. Aw, poor Misty. Oh, my goodness. <gasps> You are the picture of spring, a vision in florals under the beauty of a butterfly. Aww. You're gonna stick out in a I good am. Way. <laughs> oh no. Here goes. Aww. <laughs> Aww, they're adorable. <laughs> you got this. But I don't think I can't she does. Do this. It's all too much. <laughs> oh, my. oh no. Hide me! <gasps> what? Oops. Wait! <laughs> me. I can't go out there. Aww. Is it the outfit? No. No, it's perfect. It's all mm. perfect. Since I got here, I haven't felt comfortable. All these mm. ponies and all this fuss over me. Wait, you don't like that? Oh, all this cutie blossom bash stuff is so not me. I may be smiling. This is what I really feel like. Aww. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's unhappy. I don't want to trot across that stage with all those eyes on me. I don't spotlight. I just want to be misty. But don't pretend. Then every pony will know the mm. truth about me. I'm shy. Oh, Missy. That's okay. We just won't write your new cutie mark. Yes. I know. I'm proud of it. And I am. But I don't want to do this. So scared to tell you because you were all so excited. I should have been honest. I've ruined everything. You haven't ruined anything at all. Mm. We are the ones who should be sorry. So caught up in trying to make this moment special for you. You forgot to ask along the way if this is what you even wanted. Mm. That's what good friends done. Thank you for understanding. No learning about friendship. And yes. so are we. Every day. Hmm, true. Hmm. I sense a plan coming. Mm -hmm. Celebrate in another way? Hmm. Aww. Yay! Thank you, <laughs> Thank you, ponies. For the first time, I feel. <laughs> Happy, as happy as Seashell feels right now. This is the best moment of my life! Aww. Okay, Dr. Mom, she's totally cool. Cool with what? A special surprise. Doesn't involve any other ponies, preparations, or crimping. <laughs> Just us. Aww. Ooh, nice. This is the place from the video. It's beautiful. Hmm. But why here? 
We wanted to do something cool to mark your big day in a small way. This is one of the saplings I've been singing to. I nurture it for a while. <laughs> oh, it's yours. It represents Aww. you growing into me. You were meant to be. Oh, that's nice. Can take root like mine and mine. So, oh. What do you say? I love it. It'll be a long time before my tree catches up to yours. Maybe it doesn't have to. Just plant this seed to be who you want to be. Because the magic, it lives within you and me. It takes time to grow and to learn on your own. Transformation is beginning. Butterflies don't get their wings. Whoa. Oh, now that was an awesome song. Ooh. That's it. That's why my cutie mark is a butterfly. It's because I have the power to change, to transform Ooh. my own destiny. That's Yo. me. But there's one more thing I've been wanting to tell you. This time it does have to do with Opaline's. Uh -oh. <sighs> I knew it. Opaline <laughs> hasn't been defeated yet. Not no. even close. <gasps> Can't be true. You saw what happened in the lair. Yes, but she's more powerful than you know. And mm. now she has Sparky's dragon and magic too. Opaline won't stop until yes. all the power of Equestria. Uh -oh. But I think I know how to help. How? Oh. It'll be hard to guess her next move. Opaline is unpredictable and mysterious. Except to some pony who knows her. Somebody who can be near her. Like you. Misty. No, yes. Misty, no. I have to go back to Opaline. I. It's the only way. Did Invisibubble can only keep Opaline out of Equestria for so long. I can mm -hmm. act as a double agent. All the information <laughs> I learned. That does not feel like the safest option, Misty. Oh, I no, it's not. It is risky. But this is what I want to do. Mm. But I can help. And now I'll have best friends to get me through. We'll be Aww. by your side. Yay! <laughs> Oh no, it's raining! Run! <laughs> oh. Hmm. <laughs> Oof! There you are! Behind on my scheming, I've had all these eyes and no pony to take notes! Oh. See, I was. What's this? Oh, oops. And what does that mean? It's all purple and pink and different. Ugh. Ugh. Oops. That, uh, Oopsies. Yeah, I'll into a flower bush. <laughs> and it's grown with Earth Pony Flora magic. It instantly changed my mane. Oh, no, it's awful. Earth ponies got me again. Ugh. Clumsy girl. <laughs> Tip -top, I have plots to plan. You're by my side, and I won't let you down. Aww. Yeah! Oh, <laughs> and as always, thank you to you. Hard work, keeping working so hard on the show. Roar. Aww. Now that was an episode of MOP, so roar! <laughs> Yo! E1, a Hasbro company. So that was Cutie Blossom Bash, and aww, that was just so touching! <laughs> And also kind of worrying at the same time. <laughs> yeah, my first thoughts are, now that is an episode of MLP. Because it was just so cool and just so, in some ways, emotional. And, like, I can totally get what Misty's going through right now. Up until this point, the series has been in, I would call, maintenance mode. And, like, okay, we got to establish this character, that character. We got to move this plot, that plot, and that plot forward. And we only have, like, eight episodes to uh, do it in. So there hasn't been a lot of opportunity to have those sort of, like, those really good, like, like, memorable moments and the memorable kinds of songs. And I think this is one of those few times we've actually had one of those memorable moments, and especially that song, and it was just so nice! Mm. I think also the really good episodes of MOP are the ones that you can relate to, that, sure, I haven't been in this exact circumstance, but 
I could totally understand how Misty feels here. Misty is this pony that was basically raised by a supervillain, as we saw in this episode, that doesn't actually care about her. So now all of a sudden she's, you know, being asked to stand in front of every pony and like, they're all looking at me and I'm a lot older than all the other ponies. This doesn't make me feel comfortable at all. <laughs> Obviously, as Misty had basically says that she's shy and considering that she's been the minion of a supervillain and not been around a whole bunch of other ponies, I could understand that. So if you're shy and you're now asked to stand in front of every pony, this is like your worst nightmare, so... Uh. So I can understand why Misty is so anxious and so nervous and basically doesn't want to go through with this. But she continues to go through with it because she doesn't want to let down her friends and because they seem so excited and happy for her. But of course, when the moment comes, she's like, you know... I can't do this. <laughs> and I honestly like this moment. At first, I'm like a little disappointed that Misty doesn't go through with it. But I'm also really glad that Misty is basically standing up for herself and saying, no, this isn't really what I want to do. And I think the main five were really good here in that they're basically saying, oh, we're sorry. We didn't know you felt that way. We didn't want to pressure you to do something you didn't want to do. And of course, we respect your wishes. And the main five are also really good here because in that they realize that they could have been better friends and that they should have asked Misty if this is even what she wanted. But now that they've realized that, no, this isn't what she wants, they go and they find an alternate plan that it's just basically between them and Misty, and it works out really well, and I think that's great. So, rawr. I think that's the kind of song that makes MLP such a memorable show, and I look forward to hearing more songs like that. So, Roar. The other really big thing here is we got to learn the cutie bark stories of all the main five. Roar. And we also got to learn about Misty's cutie mark as well. Oh, and it was so good seeing Argyle again. It's like, I love him. He's such a great character. It's such a shame that we didn't get to learn more about him. And I hope we get to see him more in the future. And I guess this episode implies that maybe we will. But anyway, onto the uh, main five's like uh, cutie marks. Ooh, I'm definitely gonna have to go back and watch those stories a lot and analyze them. Maybe do a focus on video? Uh, maybe not. <laughs> but yeah, I definitely have to go back and uh, look at those uh, stories uh, a couple more times because they were interesting. Some of them were not quite what I was expecting. Like Hitch's story, I was expecting that he was gonna, you know, be like somehow following the rules and stuff. But I guess at the same time, I guess he is, you know, protector of Maritime Bay and the rules and standing up for ponies. So I guess that's how he did it in that case. So, roar. but all that stuff was interesting. It's like, and, oh, Misty's uh, cutie mark is basically representation of, oh, that she has the ability to change. So, oh, I like that idea. That's a good thing. I like that. I love the idea of a cutie mark. I mean, the, having a symbol of something that like represents who and what you are. I think that's a great idea, but the quote unquote, true cutie marks, you know, ones that aren't just simply, oh, here's a bowling pony with bowling pins. Those are always the difficult ones because they always are more than what they appear. For example, seashells, it's like, oh, she's a seashell. Okay, what does that mean? It's like, well, it's because she's as unique as every seashell on the seashore. So, ooh. So overall, I really like this episode because not only is it analyze worthy, but it was really cool. It actually had some interesting character stuff. I think we had a little bit of fun here and there. We actually got to see uh, Misty kind of grow into her own. We got to learn about the cutie marks of a lot of the major characters, including the main five, Misty, and even Seashell. And we got a pretty cool song and definitely affirms, you know, Misty's position of being a double agent. But yeah, this is definitely not the safest option, but it's the option that Misty wants to choose for herself. So, rawr. I'm just so proud of you, Misty, because we've constantly seen how much she's growing as a character. An episode or two ago, she was the minion of a supervillain. Now she's, you know, growing as a character. She's making her own choices, even when they may not necessarily be the safest choices. She's deciding her own destiny and how to make her own mark. So, I'm just so proud of you, Misty. So, so overall, I really liked this episode, it was really good, and I look forward to seeing more! So, so I hope you enjoyed this video, and as always, thank you for commenting, liking, and subscribing, and until next time, this is Blue Star. Stay strong, and pony on. Blue Star out.